What's up interwebs, it's Tuesday. It's time for a Tuesday market update and this week we're doing our first ever luxury market update. Let's get into it. This week starts off a new format we're gonna use for specifically looking at our luxury markets of Scottsdale and Paradise Valley. We also offer a market report for Phoenix as well. So if that's something you're interested in receiving, uh, we will send these out a monthly. So feel free to, to contact us to sign up for that, look, that market report. Some of the numbers and some of the um, percentages, the way that we're um, evaluating the inventory and market is gonna be a little different because we're using a specific format from the Institute for Luxury Home Marketing, a group that I am a part of. But let's take a look at the market summary for Scottsdale. The Scottsdale single family luxury market is a seller's market with a ratio with a sales ratio of 29%. Now, just to let you know, uh, a sales ratio less than 14 and a half is considered a buyer's market. Between 14.5 and 20.5 is a balanced market. And then anything greater than 20.5 is a seller's market. Home sold for a median of 96.67% of the list price. So pretty close. Basically, if you sold a million dollar, if you listed a million dollar home, it more than likely sold for about $966,000. So gives you an idea of how close to the list price uh, homes are selling for. The most active price band was 1 million to 1.09999 million, basically 1.1 or just shy of that. Uh, and that had a sales ratio of 125%, meaning more homes sold in the month than there was inventory. Uh, the median luxury sales price for single family homes decreased a bit uh, to 1.282 million. And the median days on market is 79, uh, down from 82 in July. So here's the price band, uh, similar to our price spread that we use on our other one, only this goes basically just from the 950,000 range, which is the luxury benchmark for Scottsdale, uh, but 950,000 and up. And as you can see, the, the black line is the inventory, which we have a total of 570, and we had a total sales of 165. That's the tan line. You can kind of see the spread there on how, um, how big of a gap there is. And if you look at the one, the one on the bottom, the one to 1.1 million, that was 25 homes sold with 20 in the inventory. If we look at the 13 month luxury market trend, and we've got the black line there is the median sales price. The light tan line is the inventory and the darker tan line is the sold. And as you can see, uh, July was a stellar month. Uh, August was also really great. So it looks like March and then this summer this year, which we kind of have joked with COVID that our selling season that normally is March kind of shifted this year um, and has kind of happened in June and July. So that trend is sticking here in Scottsdale as well. And then we've got some median data, just kind of give you an idea of the inventory compared to July. So compared to the previous month, Yeah, and if you want to look at these in more detail, uh, you can go sign up for this report on my website. Link is in the description below. Also on the Scottsdale report will be attached homes. So that's like condos, um, townhouses, stuff like that. There is a luxury market for that. I'm not going to cover it though because it's a little bit smaller bit of the market. All right, let's look at the Paradise Valley report. Here's Paradise Valley market summary. Paradise Valley single family luxury market is a buyer's market with a 12% sales ratio. Homes sold for median of 94.8% of the uh, list price. So a billion dollar listed home on average was selling for 498,000, oh, sorry. <laughs> a, a million dollar listed home was selling for roughly $948,000. So you can see there's a, because the buyer's market stuff selling for less than list price, there's not as much competition in this higher price point. The most active band, a uh, price band is the 1.85 million to 1.95 million, uh, where the sales ratio is 67%. The median luxury sales price for single family homes uh, decreased to 2.3 million. 
And the median days on market for August was 137 days up from 92. So let's look at the uh, price bands. Uh, as you can see, by far the highest inventory is in that 5.25 and up range with 38 houses. The total inventory in Paradise Valley luxury market is 178. Uh, total sales was 22. Now, something I want you to notice here, the luxury benchmark price for Paradise Valley is 1.65 million. And what, what the luxury benchmark is, is it's the top 10% of uh, priced houses in a market. So in this case, Paradise Valley is a much higher luxury benchmark than Scottsdale. And both of them have a much higher luxury benchmark than the Phoenix market. The Phoenix market's like 500,000. All right, here we go with the 13-month luxury market trend. The thing I found interesting on this is over the last year, uh, July and August were really good. Like we said, we thought we were gonna see that in March, but it kind of shifted to July and August. But one thing I wanna note is we had almost, almost as many sold in November, December and January, 23, 21, 30, 24 in February. So I wanna do a little more digging, but could it be that the holidays are the best time to sell a house in Paradise Valley? Maybe. Here's the median data comparing August to July. Now it is taking some time for me to get a little familiar with these reports. Again, they're offered to me via the Institute for Luxury Home Marketing. If you're interested in following the luxury home markets of Phoenix, Paradise Valley, or Scottsdale, uh, just go to the link in the description and you can sign up for that. It'll be a monthly report. It comes out uh, just a little bit past halfway of the month uh, each month. So I appreciate you guys checking in. I uh, hope you guys like some of this information for the luxury market. And uh, we'll see you guys next week on the Tuesday market update. Bye guys.